Hello guys, welcome to today's tutorial. Today I want to show you how to create a Facebook frame on your Facebook. So if you have a Facebook profile or you have a Facebook account and you decide to create a frame so that you can use it or maybe your fans or your friends can also use it, I'm just going to show you guys how to create frames on Facebook in this quick step. So um, I already created some frames. Actually, I created one frame just because of this tutorial and then I'm going to be creating adding more frames and then later on I'll be creating more frames so this is what I mean by frame if you click on this image right here and then view image and you are going to notice how it displays it actually displays um, with this logo with this frame um, that hovers on my main image and actually the frame is actually um, it's uh, a football Call of Duty and then there are, actually have two frames right here. The first one is the Call of Duty and then the second one is this football. So it overwrites the second one. And then if you want, you can always remove this or revert it back to normal normal um, profile image. But I uh, just want to show you guys how to create this. It's actually fun when you know how to do it. So um, before we continue, a quick tip, guys. I actually created this frame making use of... Um, Adobe Fireworks and if you create the um, frame with any tool that you want just make sure that you save it as a PNG file make sure it's a PNG file transparent PNG file so that it will be able to hover on your image whenever you put the image it will be on top of that image so um, let me show you guys the one I already created so I created it on the different laptop and then um, sent it to this one. So this is uh, one of the frames. Let me show view and large This is one of them. This is one. This is another one. This is another one And if you notice they're actually transparent, but the width and height I'm going to show you the width and height that I made use of because actually there is no width and height There is no specific width and height I actually took time to discover this so since I discovered it I don't think I would uh, want you guys to go through the same thing. So I'll be sharing it with you guys so after you might have created your frame designed your frame on your preferred um graphic software on your laptop just um come over here where it says open um frame studio um actually sorry let me go back after you've created your frame on your graphic software go ahead and type in this url facebook.com slash frames slash manage and then hit enter so um, after you type the URL, it's going to bring you to frame dashboard where you manage all the frames you've created or maybe you want to create a new frame. But do not forget you would have already created um, the frame with your graphic software on your laptop or your mobile. So once you've um, created it and you know where you saved it on your device, go ahead and click on the open frame, which is what I was saying the other time. And you will notice this will display for you. The first thing that you do is to select the page that you want to associate the um that you want to credit the frame you are creating for. So if you want to credit it to TS Tech Talk, just select the TS Tech Talk, which is actually my page. And if you want to credit it as your individual, which is your name, go ahead and select that. But I'm going to credit this at TS Tech. So um next go ahead and upload the images you've created. So first of all, I have my I have go to your download where you have the image. I have the logo. Let me go ahead and select the logo. I have to no, this is not the logo that I want to make use of. I'm going to delete that by selecting this option and then you see delete option right here. Go ahead and click on delete and then click OK. So I'm going to click upload and then let me upload one of the images first. I'm going to upload this blue one first and then this is not looking bad. You can see that it fits in, but if it doesn't, you can go ahead and drag it down. You can scale it if you want to make it bigger and then move it around to the position where you want it. And if you're okay with that, you can see the preview, how it previews on mobile. You can see how it previews on the rounded one. So if you're okay with this, go ahead and click next. But I'm not actually okay because I want to put in my logo. So I'm going to have to send it from the other laptop. So let me pause this video while I send it. Okay. I think it's ready so click on upload art again and this is the logo you can notice it's also transparent 
so just make sure your logo is also transparent like mine then I'm going to if you notice I just scale the image right I just scale the image and it's also transparent so it can stay anywhere that you have it that you want it I think I'll be okay and don't forget to preview to see how it look like on the mobile so I wouldn't want it to look too too big covering everything every picture that the person would would upload so I think I'm okay with this so once you guys are okay you can go ahead and skip to next and for some reason guys if you want to bring this image back you can click on this drop down icon and select and it will display more options so you can click on send to back you can notice that the image is sent to back and then if you want to um, send this one to back so that the other one will confront click on that one and then send to back you can notice it fits in so when you're ready just click on next and then next you need to give it a name so i'm going to give this um this frame a name i'm going to call it um blue blue cool so I call it blue cool blue cool so blue cool now guys um this is how the keyword have to match the word that you gave it or the name that you gave it so whichever one it is so that it can easily be search or it can easily be visible while people are searching it on frame section so i'm just going to use the same name blue cool and then hit enter to enter it and i'm going to type in ts tech blog because i'm the creator of the frame then hit enter so you can type as many as you want you can notice the way i keep repeating the cool blue and blue cool that's just for it to be more visible when people search for it And then hit enter now the tag can be as many as 10 and it can be less than that but whichever one you want just make it look sharp and easy so that people can easily discover it so next click on next now you can notice it displays here so if you are ready to publish just go ahead and click on publish and it will be published instantly so click on ok to confirm now you can notice it's being published give it some time after it published you are going to notice um that it's successfully published and since i published it with my page i'm going to have to check check that out also now you can notice it says um your frame has been published now i can easily share this frame after it was published so i'm going to go ahead and click on share as page now you can see something read So um, if you like, you can select this to use a different cover image so that people can easily see it. But if not, just go ahead and post it. I think I'm okay with what I just wrote. So I'm going to go ahead and post it. And it might take a while. Just give it some time. After it might start posted, you, you are going to notice it for sure. So now it has posted. Go ahead and click on done to complete it. Now you can notice it displays um our active um it displays our active uh, frames and you can notice this one has the logo on top this one has the logo by the side i'm going to add more again i'm going to add two more before starting to look for it so while i'm doing that i'm going to pause this video while i add the remaining ones which are the red ones and i think the purple one right uh downloads documents so i will have to upload this and this right now all right guys so i think i have enough frames right here now um the first thing let me go over to my facebook page to confirm if 
this frame actually is displaying because after I created each and every one of them, I do share it to my page, which is the TS Tech Talk. And also, if you know, if you remember, I selected TS Tech Talk as the manager of, as a creator of the team. So it's definitely going to show that the team, that the frame was created by TS Tech Talk. So, um, um let's scroll down scroll down scroll down scroll down okay there you go now this is the one i posted you can notice it's neo red and it's looking good and actually i have to review this on mobile because on mobile it shows you an an option to quickly use that um use that frame but right here is not displaying that option let me click on it um you see it's not displaying an option to make use of it although there is an option to edit and then it's actually just edit the stuff so let me go ahead and show you guys how it displays on mobile very quick all right now we are on mobile when you click on the on your facebook and then locate your facebook page just scroll down you are going to notice you are going to notice it display right here somewhere around here Keep scrolling till you see your post. Now, this is the post. This is new red. And you can notice it says, try it, right? This is actually what I'm looking for. If a user sees this from their mobile and click on try it, they will be prompted to display. It will be displayed on the person's profile. You know, you know what? Let me change this, actually. Let me change the default one that I'm already using. Let me remove the default one and put in a different profile. On my profile image and then try to make use of it uh, actually i'm going to click on this click on it select profile image and then go to upload scroll down it should be the very first one and then save and then click on it again add frames so to get the frames that we've added so far let's just search for the name let me search for red neo let's see you didn't find it i think there was a space in between them yes there there you go this is red neo i think i've used it that's the reason why it's displaying and then again let me go ahead and search the name of the channel the name of the page which is ts tech talk ts tech talk I didn't give space right here. That was an error. There was supposed to be space. I think because I'm making use of the video, so it's not displaying. So this is TS Tech Talks. I can use any of them. I really don't know why this image refused to go away. But for some reason, if you're working on your own, it's going to display. I think um, I'm going to fix that later on. But I think this video is a success. So this is how it works. And right on your, on your laptop also, you can still make use of it. The same way I showed you guys how to use your frame. So I just want to show you guys that this works. So if you created it, actually test it and let me know if you used it and if you use the frame i created let me know how it works and if you have any further question about this please leave it on the comment below hopefully i'll be able to answer them and i'll be seeing you guys soon on my next video stay home and stay safe peace